Welcome everybody to our Job Nimbus 101 workshop. For this Halloween season, for those of you who are on, we wanted to show you something that wasn't quite scary, but something that's scary cool. And that is our global payments integration. I'm Dan. I'm Logan. We're so happy to have you with us today. Now, in the world of COVID, which is a little bit scary, a lot of people prefer not to touch you when uh, they're giving you money. And so Global Payments gives us contactless pay, so you don't have to touch anyone or their dirty, dirty money. <laughs> but you can still get it in your pocket. And not only is it contactless, but it's fast, it's easy, you don't have to drive around to people's houses, hand out invoices. Instead, all of this can be done safely from the internet with the use of what's called an electronic mail or email if you're a kid. And just to add into all that, Global Payments has very low rates on credit card and e-check transactions. Now we're going to tell you all about how to set it up and how to use it. So let's jump in. From your Job Nimbus site to integrate with Global Payments, you'll first want to go to your settings where you usually go to integrate with third-party software. It makes sense. From your settings, come down here to the Payments tab and click on it. You'll see that you'll have this option right here to toggle on, enable payment processing. We're going to do that right now. When you do that, you can check the radio button for global payments and you'll see that there's going to be a hyperlink for activate. Now, since we've already clicked on it to test some things out, so we had the best information for you, it is no longer there. But we can still look at it by clicking on configure global payments and get updated global payments credentials. So let's go there. Since global payments is a software that helps process the payments that you receive, it deals with financial information. So when setting up your global payments account, it is going to ask you a lot of your business and transaction information, such as your transaction history. So when setting up a when going so when going through this information, you'll want to fill out things such as your business name, uh, the information about your business, and then they'll ask you about your transaction history, such as what kind of transactions do you receive, checks, credit cards, how much is your normal transaction amount? When we when you when you talk to Global Payments about your normal transaction amount. We suggest that you take your regular transaction and you increase it by about 10%. That way, when you get a transaction amount that's higher than normal, it's a lot easier to get through global payments. Once you've gone through the global payments onboarding, your credentials will be placed here inside Job Nimbus for you, at least for the time being. Now, that's pretty nice because these are long, complex credentials. You can expect first to receive a credit card credential, but if you'd also like to receive a credential to do electronic checks, just talk to Global Payments during your onboarding process. Another option that you have here is to allow customers to store their credit cards for future payments. And we're going to go ahead and click that on, and then we're going to save all this. The next thing to do after this is, well, let's go work with a payment. So we're going to go to Jane Tester. We're going to go ahead into the financials and let me tell you how easy it is to send a payment request to Jane Tester. All we have to do is email her an invoice. So we click here, we choose email invoice and boom. But for now, we're just going to go and view that invoice, which will also allow us to get the payment. So here we are inside an invoice and you'll see that green button that says make a payment. This is also what Jane would see if we'd emailed it to her. Let's go ahead and click on that. And go from there. When your clients click on that button, they'll be taken to this screen. It's super minimalistic. The only thing they'll be able to do is make a payment. Now they can choose to pay the full balance, or if they've worked out with you that they will split the payment, they can enter in a different amount. So we are going to enter in $4,000. Now we can, since we have enabled both electronic check and credit card, our clients have the option to choose one or the other. We can click on electronic check and as a client and fill out the name, routing number and account number. And that money will be taken from my bank as a client to your bank as my roofer. Easy peasy. Or 
I can choose credit card, a credit or debit card. This will take me to where I can enter in a credit card number. And here I'm going to enter our, one of our dummy cards that we have. And remember how we allowed our customers to save their credit cards for future use? Well, I'm going to store this credit card for future payments. And I'm going to submit that payment. Now this payment will be submitted to Global Payments and will also be recorded in Job Nimbus. And there we go, it's been submitted. Now later on, Jane Tester can go back and say, I'm ready to finish paying off that bill. We come back in here to make a payment. And notice how the full balance is the 10,000 minus 4,000. I can check to a, pay the full balance click to pay with that previous card or even choose a different card and then submit the payment. Alternatively, I can choose a different method as well. So we're going to, going to submit that payment right now. Close. And if we refresh, our invoice is completely paid off. And as a roofer, I did not have to lift a finger. My client paid from the comfort of their own couch, and I received the payment from the comfort of my desk at work. Global Payments is another powerful tool that we've added to Job Nimbus. We hope that you take advantage of it. If you have any questions about Global Payments or anything else Job Nimbus related, please contact our support team by using the phone number or email shown here. You can also check out information via article and video at support.jobnimbus.com. Thanks so much for coming, and we'll see you next time.